All my life, I bet in Forex. Oh, wow. We met online. I seen a picture of her and I just fell in love. <laughs> Me and Azan have never actually met in person. We're going to Morocco to meet him. Where is Morocco? <laughs> I was catfished by my own fiance, but I want to marry him anyway. Yeah. How oh, very nervous. Very nervous. Hey, you! I come into the United States. I'm so excited. I'm full of new emotion. I like I'm American. Me gusta todo. She put a ring on it. I did. She did. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I spent about $70,000 since we've been dating. That girl just wants her sugar daddy. She's just marrying you for your money. Pedro is coming to marry me and my parents have no idea. There's something going on. We have 90 days to get married or Allah has to go back to the Ukraine. Please, please, stop. No, I'm happy. Just make sure you come home to us. Nicole is very naive. She has no idea what she could be getting into. There are monsters out there. Not only do I get my fiance, I get Max. I'm a little nervous because his family is polygamous. You should not marry him. She's a little brat. She cares about money more than our relationship. <laughs> she erased my phone. You don't know where you're gonna find love. Why limit yourself? Mm -hmm. Who's my heart knows that he loves me. But I think he has a hard time showing it. My name is Anfisa. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Moscow, Russia. Since we've been married, she threatens to leave me every day. But so far, she hasn't done it. So far. So far. 90 Day Fiance is an incredibly entertaining show. Watching these foreigners come over and try to navigate their new lives, the love, the hate, and all the drama in between, it's easy to see why so many of us are addicted to the show. It's absolutely captivating. Here. I thought this trip will help us mend whatever problems we've been having, but. I, I don't know if he's really here to fix the problem. I think he just wants to cause more problems. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The issue is not me. The problem was caused by you. If you want to change this, you got to seek help. And if you seek work help. on yourself, then we can grow into something really beautiful. Wow. Jesse, I I'm just so you. tired of your mind games. It's. Not funny anymore. Okay, then break up with me. I don't know. Because it's always going to be something. And it's always going to be on me. So my gut is telling me to walk away. It's sad, you know, I have a good heart. I'm a very loving man and uh, I tried my best, but um, it is uh, not possible for me to be in something that um, is deceptive and is not real. And um, I really love her with all my heart and that's why this hurts so much. I'm not a deceptive person, I'm not a liar, I'm not manipulative. Okay? I'm not gonna argue with you. That's all so I gotta say. He wants to, sh yeah, but it's like I've cried so many tears. It's like, it's nice. I mean, not nice to see him cry, but it's like, wow, he finally felt emotional. That shows me at least he cared a little bit. I'm hoping today goes better because my daughters are coming over for dinner. Family dinner list. The kids really like, you know, pasta and chicken. 
Do you bake potatoes or mashed potatoes? I'm all good, babe. It's fine. I just would like to have, you know, your input. Make the list and we'll go. Feels like you're a little closed off right now. And I just want you to be excited. This is kind of like, you know, a test to see what it would be like if we got married and lived together and stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Just no sassy attitude, please. What did I do now? I just want to have a nice day. Can I say something? experience that. Well, you, you like to say things a lot, and you like to bull a lot, so. Let's go. I'm not going. I'll go, because I'm going to feed right. my kids tonight. Wonderful. Beautiful, loving dinner. I'm just going to sit here on the porch. Goodbye. Good luck. <laughs> Babe, stop being immature, okay? I, I I know you're 24, but please. I'm, I'm not in the mood today. I want to get dinner ready for my kids. It's too dramatic for me. It's very immature. I, I, I've never been with a man like that. I'm, like, trying to be calm, and I also don't want to ruin the moment, and then I, I want to be happy, especially when the girls are there. So I'm, like... Just let me sit here for a moment. <sighs> but, you know, the, the show has an agenda. The show has... Uh, you know, ratings that they want to get, and they have their method for how they think they need to go about getting ratings. And unfortunately, it is uh, not such a, a great method for those of us that are on the show. Do they show real things that happen between the couples, or do they edit most of it to make us love the show? Well, I mean, they show things that do happen, but they do edit it a lot. So the context of what is happening, uh, the reactions that we have to different things, um, you know, don't fit. Uh, they, they just look uh, sometimes crazy. Uh, people's reactions to events look crazy and it's because they're, they're not the reaction that occurred with that particular instance or they occurred at some point later when something else was said. And so it makes, you know, like when, when Jesse, when uh, it looked like Jesse flipped out at Darcy uh, in the filming of the tell-all, well, I was there and they made Jesse look like a crazy person, but I was there and saw what happened and there was a reason why Jesse was acting the way he was acting. So, you know, You've got to take what you see on television with a grain of salt because they want drama. They want you to tune in because of the drama, which is what people want to see. So, Well, so uh, here I'm trying to tell people in your cameras that I wish you can use later or you can put it out there that it's really bad. It's really, really bad to destroy someone's life. For someone else to make money that's number one number two is we've been working together for three years now since the since day one i landed to this country the first thing i seen in my face is a camera okay and we've been working together and me telling you if you want to keep doing this with me let's do it in a good way that nobody get hurt by the end of it and every single season we try we started be with uh, your people convincing me to do it with promising me, telling me, we promise you this time, we are not going to play with the editing. This time, we're going to put the truth out there for people to watch. 